Hello guys, it's Switch. And I am Shaytan. Welcome to the meeting edition of The Source. Yep, yep. And of course, hey, happy new year to yes, you, you yes, and you yes. and me. 2015 was a special year. Yes, it was. Of course, it also had its ups and its downs, but we made it. Together, we made it. Meeting. Yeah. So you guys, 2015, Hater. one word. Switch, what would it be? 2015 for me was... The one word, lessons. Yes, lessons. lessons. Okay. I learned a lot of lessons in 2015, and yeah. that's good for me. So, 2016, I'm, I've learned. You have learned. I know now. You're no longer a learner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, I'd say lessons. Mm -hmm. One oh. word. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was blessed a lot in 2015, and I'm really happy to be here. Lessons, lessons. It's it good. Nice one. Why lessons and lessons and lessons. Fine. You're even yeah. learning how to rhyme small, small, too. Yes, I am. I am. I <laughs> am. Okay. All right, so of course, we're all looking forward to what 2016 has to offer. Mm -hmm. Personally, I am excited because it has already started on a good note. Started on a good note. And that's what, of course, guys, it's the sauce. The sauce. What was that? That's like a hawk. That's like the sauce. The sauce. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. And today we have a really packed packet. Mm -hmm. Packed packet. What? And I said that with you. You said it with me because you agreed. No, I didn't. Because my mind was like, what you? can I say that packed packet? You know what, guys? Allow me to just quickly apologize in advance for Shay's on. You see this whole English thing? She's not really used to it. But she, you know. Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay, I'm good. I can. I. I believe that. I understand. English. Mm. Okay. okay. If you say I so. know better than you mm. to an extent. You see that, that that's what you do really well. Picking on me. That's the one that she told us. I about. think it's time for you to move on, Switch. <laughs> move All right on. then, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. So what are we doing today? Okay. It's the first episode and today we have the review of the year 2015. The highs, the lows, the OMG moments, the in-betweens, the need to knows, everything that happened in 2015, you're about to get a load up. Oh, you'll be getting your attitude on. That said, guys, are you ready? And are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Mm. Oh. Okay, so a lot happened in 2015 internationally, and here are a few headlines that stood out. First of all, Donald Trump... <laughs> Donald Trump running for president. Why you said Donald Trump I stay laughing? Because it is funny. It's not fair. It's not fair. Well, I understand because to be honest, the first time I heard that he was running for president, mm. I thought it was a joke. Maybe a publicity stunt for that show. What's that show he does? Mm. The, the Apprentice. Apprentice. Yeah. Yes. Well, but, well, well, it can't be because, I mean, right now we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's now the new boss. Yeah. The Apprentice. I'll That's be back. That's so funny. Let, try and say you're <laughs> fired in his voice. You're fired. You're fired. Because he, he doesn't. Uh, yeah. You're fired. Fired. But then you can. <laughs> anyway, so, but this is really happening because according to the polls, uh, Donald Trump is the Republican presidential forerunner. So this is really happening. Like Joe. What? He's, it's really happening. What in the name of Bloodwigs is going on? <laughs> Why, I love did because just, I said why did you poke at Bloodwigs? That's your poke. Because I, I think he's. I don't know. I still don't believe that's in his hair. I think he's. Yeah, it looks. Yeah. He sews it on every morning. Every morning. He's just he like. Step out of the house. But you know what? Mm. Good luck, Mr. Trump. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to see how this unfolds. Let's really. see what happens, all right? I can't wait either. Another headline that shocked the world was Bill Cosby and the rape allegations. Why? So I love Bill Cosby, but I really don't think that 42 women can come together to tell such a huge lie. Mm, you don't think that My 42 opinion, women can yeah. come together and lie? But one woman can lie, so therefore, 40, if so, that's like math. If one woman can tell this kind of lie, therefore, 42 women can tell a lie. That's listen, 42 times. Listen, listen, you're not <laughs> listening. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that mm -hmm. these women that don't know each other mm -hmm. can't all be saying the same lie. And we have people that are quite popular. We have mm -hmm. Janice Dickinson, that is a huge model mm -hmm. in the States, that came mm -hmm. out to say, you know what? Bill Cosby did the same thing to me, so it's not a lie. See, you know, right there, with that point, you kind of have me, because like, now I'm feeling really sad. I mean, just to watch everything happen, be honest, because, I mean, it's like Hugh Cliff Huxable, our model dad and family, I know. way back when, the Cosby show. Yes, I actually This was like, really I did. woke up every morning to watch the Cosby show. Yeah, I really loved that show. I felt that, you know, I had a connection with Rudy. You, you know, know who Rudy is, right? You love which show? The Cosby. Oh, we all know you watch reruns of the Cosby. I watched Cosby when Cosby when was, it was like, like when he was lying. You watched yeah. like co okay. probably stuff you have on your hard drive yeah. or whatnot. Yeah, what yeah you I want to take the award for all those persons. Thank yesterday. you very much. Thank you very much. We're not mates. Let me just warn you, my dear. We are not mates. Eh? I go with that. Switch. Can we focus? Okay. 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 Focus. The Pope's visit to Africa was also really iconic. Yes, it was. I mean, I really like PF because he's like selfless G and willing to go the distance to show genuine love and forgiveness and the sense of community. PF is real G. I it's tend to, do you know what? I, I tend to have this look on my face. 
a lot mm. when you open your mouth to talk on the show. But what is PF? PF is Pope Francis. Work with me, girl. Are you listening, PF? Pope Do you Francis? even know him? Like, why? Who gave you the right to shorten his name? He to did PF? because he's so cool. Let me tell you why I know this. He's a really cool Pope. This okay. is the first time you've seen Pope taking selfies. Trust me, if he was here, uh -huh. I said, hey, Yo, PF, what's going on? He'd be like, The Lord bless you. Or something. <laughs> Sorry, these things I do. Is you God is making me do this? Okay, okay. <laughs> from a visit from the Pope, okay, to legalizing same-sex marriage in Ireland. Mm -hmm. It was put to vote, and let's just say that the citizens want what the citizens want. What, what do the citizens want? Tell me what they want. What do they want? They want something. What <laughs> do they want? Mm. Fourteen years if you're in Nigeria. So just right. just for your information. It's here still. If you didn't if you didn't know, now you know. Okay. Fourteen years. Why are you saying and looking at me though? I wasn't even looking at you. But I feel like you were. Like, I, I, I wasn't I just feel, though. Like, I feel like in your mind you're judging and... But why are you... Okay. Shazo, can you please not spoil my market? Is there something you want to tell there us? people watching, what I want to tell you is that ladies, I'm all for you. I'm on your team. I'm on your side. All right, okay, I'll take the next one because I'm not sure what you're doing with that. But moving on. One really devastating headline, of course, also was the Paris Massacre that took the lives of over 128 individuals. Yes. And of course, that attack shook the world. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, 128 people is nothing compared to the Boko Haram numbers. And this is just my thoughts. I totally agree. I mean, I really do agree. And of course, uh, but we will get to that. It's just that when you hear, like, Paris, you know, you think of things like... Uh, Love. The romance. And the flowers. Uh, you don't think of things like for AK-47s. You can't even say AK-47 in French. Like romantic French. You try it, try it. AK-47. AK-47. There's a lot. <laughs> a lot of frem. Frem. So guys, you know, let peace in the world, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Valid point. Another gripping issue that happened in 2015 was the European migrants issue. Yep, yeah, of course, that's also really big. In a bid to seek asylum in Europe, several individuals lost their lives crossing the Mediterranean Sea. And I could have sworn that I saw two Nigerians pass by. <laughs> like, I don't doubt it, I'm telling you. We no, <laughs> People okay, just sneaking past. But you know what? Nigerians are everywhere. Like, I swear, to, I swear to goodness. Goodness. Mm. That's. If you find 10 people in the world, if you go to Iceland right now, <laughs> at least one person there will be I'm Nigerian. I'm sure we have Nigerian Eskimos. I, we haven't found them, but I'm sure that we have like Nigerians all the way like in the Himalayas with like Ooh, the gear. I'm just trying to do something. Anyways, anyways, in local headlines, bringing it back home, of course, in Nigeria. With 2015 came our new presido, <laughs> our new president, President Buhari, oh, aka yeah. Saibaba. <laughs> <laughs> so, election postponed, Professor Jega and his excellent disposition, mm. Urubebe and more. It was an eventful election process. I'm telling you, like, Jega should be like the new SI unit for chill. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're ab about to lose, like, maybe your temper, just he say, you know what? He was so calm. Jega. Like, we was like, whoa, we won't continue. We, are, we won't continue. And Jega was like, hmm, so. Running <laughs> through the six. With my wolves. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to use my advice. You know what? It was, it, was, it was a lot of things happening in 2015. <laughs> All right, like, But you know what? There's more. Okay. The ministerial list. Oh, social media went crazy. The anticipation mm -hmm. was killing everyone. The answer to everything was no list yet. Even my bully lady blamed her pricing and the lack of ministers at the time. The screening of ministers and the final selection also caused a serious frenzy. What, why are you... Your body lady. We all heard you say body lady. No, it's too late though. We heard you. No, no. But like it's, it's, meant, it's on tape. We know. I meant plantain barbecue lady. Plantain barbecue lady. Because that's what that is. I don't, what, what body? What's that? Terrible save. I have not even. Was that, was that your way out? Terrible. Mm -hmm. Terrible save? Terrible. Guess what though, of course, it's January 1st and you know what that means. No more purchase outside the country using your debit and credit card. Mm -hmm. And this is in accordance to the Central Bank of Nigeria. Shouts out to people like, Harry, I want to come to Switzerland to go But do not fear, guys. It's a temporary measure. And it will mm. all be okay when we go back to shop. I mean, meaningful purchases. I'm just shaking my head at you. I'm just like, well, you know what, guys? Let's just leave her alone. I have to show you guys something. Show us what? Wait for this. Okay. Switch, no, how do you? No, no. I had to. I'm sorry. I, just no. really, I, I had to. I had to. I had to. No. You know what, guys? Back to the story. No. According to the CBN, these measures are being taken to strengthen the Naira and, and improve reserves. But you strong, my people, and of course, buy made in Nigeria. That's my advice to you. Stick to Abamid, stick to local tents, and of course, uh, Taylor Laurent mm -hmm. is so good for you. Taylor Laurent. Mm -hmm. That's Taylor, so cool. Taylor Laurent. You know, so <laughs> that's it, man.
Okay, so of course another headline that caught our attention was the presentation of the 2016 budget by our president. It's very impressive because mm -hmm. normally finalizing the budget of that particular year doesn't happen so soon. They actually take a while. Time. But towards the end of the year, it's we already have that. So, you know. We well, I guess you can say that change things. has come, of course, because that's a great improvement mm -hmm. with sectors like capital expenditure, education, works, power, and housing taking huge chunks of the budget. We can clearly expect some significant changes this year. 2016 is about to be turned. Do you know why I'm smiling? Why are you smiling? Girl? Because we're on to weird and random. Oh, did you, did you, okay. You should do something weird. When, when you say that, you should be like, on to weird and random, then do something weird. I can't really do that because like, I'm in a dress and I can't. This one is just, so, yo, yo, it's for me. Just for me, I keep it every time. You don't even understand yourself. <laughs> anyway. The most random thing that made the headlines this year to us was that mm -hmm. spiritual dress. With different yeah, colors because the dress has an evil spirit inside i don't even doubt you man i don't even doubt because i mean that thing almost drove me nuts it's like is it blue is it green i showed one of my guy he saw orange i showed somebody else he's i'm like what is it but what? to me though i thought it was white mm. white i'm seeing white do you know what switch mm. the owner of the dress a 21 year old singer by the name caitlin mcneil had posted a picture on her blog of a dress that was blue and black mm -hmm. but seen as white and gold by some people. Exactly. The dress went viral on the internet with celebrities like Taylor Swift jumping into debates on the color of the dress. Now, I think hold up, hold that up. it was orange. No, what did you do with me? Hold up. I don't want to, let's not be doing that now. Because look, it's not going to end. Orange let's and green. <laughs> you have to just. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of when Taylor Swift had to speak about the dresses and I'm like, she's trying to leave her opinion on mm -hmm. like social media and then Kanye just comes like, you know what, Taylor, I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish, but. But I think that Beyonce said that that dress is gold and white, so you're wrong. So you wrong, ho. Kanye West is just the worst. Anyway, speaking of Taylor Swift, in 2015, she wrote a short, simple, and polite open letter to Apple. Mm. Short, uh, simple, and polite. Mm, okay. That's three things in one. About their free three months trial period, which involves free listening of albums, especially those mm -hmm. of upcoming albums, uh, of course, on their radio thing that they do. What's that thing that they have on there? Apple Radio. Apple Radio, yes. Yeah. That thing. Thank you very much. You are spot on today. I know. And of course, she was expressing her shock at that, the fact that the company wasn't willing to pay artists to quote Why would they even pay artists? They have so much money. And that's what she was saying. And of course, she went out there to put it on social media and her fans backed her up. And get this, you know what? A few hours later, Apple issued a statement that they, they will make payments. They did. They had to pay the money. They please, said, you know what? Excuse me, tell us, Swift, please, can you help me write a letter to my producers here <laughs> that they can just increase my salary <laughs> by <laughs> just 20%? So you can continue oh. shopping. Yes. But you can, what's the point? You can't even travel with your debit excuse, and credit anymore. Excuse but me. I, I, have, to do it. I have an American All Express <laughs> card. <laughs> Okay. No problem. But talking about that, talking about the power of celebrities, mm -hmm. I'm glad that she's using her power for good. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. I'm with you on that one. And on that note, here's what made headlines in entertainment. First up, Bruce Jenner is Caitlyn Jenner. It's like Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. It's like it's just it's so weird if one day I woke up and my uncle that I'd grown up with for years just all of a sudden became like auntie. <laughs> what was stunned when Bruce Jenner finally Confirmed sensational rumors that he was transgender at 65. Hold yeah, up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. At what age, please? 65. And you're like, what, 42? What? What? I'm not even 42. I'm just, I'm just trying to say that. What are you trying to say? There's still time. Switch. If you need anything, if you need clothes, I'm going to let you finish. If you need weaves, I'm going to let you finish. If you need shoes, mm. we got you. All right. That's all I'm saying. It's all right. Okay. Guys, you see, normally, you know, when she does that, I have to, you know, give her one back. But it's 2016. My re One of my New Year resolutions is just to let stuff go. What would Jesus do? He'll let it go, right? I'm going to let it go. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, of course, because he, you know, she won. You could even be on the Vanity Fair. But oh. guess who was on the Vanity Fair? Caitlyn was oh, on there. Okay. So what you got to say, huh? Always hating. Can't make the Vanity Fair cover you. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to put it out there that he's 60 or she's 65, so I still have about 40 years. Yeah, okay. That's okay, I still okay. have time. Mm -hmm. But then again, she went on to win the Otto Ash Award for Courage at the ESPY Awards. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's not amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. No, it's not because... She's angry because... Do you know what? I'm not even going to say anything because... She's being a, a woman for like what? Nine months. Nine hours. Months. She's already beating you guys. Like, in. Oh yeah. You see, like that goes to prove the age old no. question. What a man can do, a woman can do, but a man can do it twice as better. Ha <laughs> ha! In your face, ladies. Moving on. Touche. Mm -hmm. Just let that go. Still can't make mm -hmm. Vanity Cover magazine now. Even at 65, but it's all good. 
<laughs> from transgender decisions to shrieking boy bands. In 2015, Zayn Malik quit One Direction to focus on his solo career. Not like I really care anyways, but I think she does. But the hearts of One Direction fans all over were crushed. Like I said, Especially say. mine. But the thing is, I appreciate hard work. Really? Appreciate hard work? Like, when you work I bet you hard, do! I'm just saying. But, uh. you know what? I, I, was, I was thinking this before. Like, when I read the story earlier, I was like, what if... Harry Styles was the one that left the group because I, I think he's the Beyonce of One Direction. Okay. What would have happened? Do you think the group would still be together? You know what? I really don't care about Harry Styles of One Direction. Uh, I don't care! Uh, I don't uh, care! But okay. that said, I care about what you okay. want to talk about. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I don't okay. care. Like, I don't... It's okay now. <laughs> you know what? On. Take the next story, man. But I don't care. I know where I'll get you. <laughs> that, that, that enter. That was Moving on. Charlie Sheen cool. and his Let's... HIV status. Yes, really brave of him to come out and speak about it. Four years is a long time though. Like he said, he had spent millions on hush money mm -hmm. uh, and truly needed to be free from all them blackmails. I can imagine people just milking that brother. And the lawsuits, of course, will start rolling. I can't wait to see how the story unfolds this year. I'm telling you, man, but I mean, because I love Charlie, I love Charlie Sheen, though, men, but, men, you know. Men, 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 you, that's the thing, though. You won't know it. I, man, 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 man. Right. I know the song anyway. Man, just man, to, man, I was just trying man. to fool you, right? It's all good. Yeah, I complete it. I remember complete two and a half men. Complete the song. What did they do at the end? Man, man, man. No, say, let, let just, can we just let it go, all right? Back in good, good. It was a good set comeback. <laughs> Simpler times. I remember those times. I was really to end it. There's nothing simple about that time. But I'll leave you to that. <laughs> Speaking about that, Kanye West running for president in 2020. Kanye West is just, uh, I don't know, Kanye, anyways. I love Kanye though, he's never been shy when it comes to reaching for the stars, so it wasn't a huge surprise when Kanye at the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards made the bold declaration after an epic acceptance speech for a Lifetime Achievement Award. You may have heard about this, Kanye is thinking about running. By this moment, I have decided in 2020 to run for president. Yezzy. Check out Uncle Yezzy. You see the one Yezzy, Kanye. Just the fans of the celebrities. <laughs> PF. <laughs> Yezzy. Tizzle. <laughs> you know what, Shayto? Just for fun, you tell me. Which Nigerian artist do you think can pull the stunt off? Like to declare for presidency, say maybe 2020, Nigeria 2020. Who do you think can do that? G Mike. I'm done with you. What did you have before you came to work today? No, no. What do you mean, Jim? Who else? Why Jamaica? Yo? Like, why? That's just who comes to mind. You okay, it's all an good. Answer. You know what, guys? I'm so sorry I asked. So, on behalf of Shayto, no vex. All right, moving on. <laughs> why are you always apologizing for me? Did I send you? On behalf of Shayto. Moving on, Shayto, quickly. Moving on from Jamaica. Uh, moving on to Kanye West, of course. Uh, to Adele's killer comeback with the single Hello. Hello. I would have sang the song, but I'm not even trying to compete. Exactly. With Adele's voice. Go. Okay, but you know what? Let's play the video. I love the video so much. Can we can we play the video? Hello. Guys, no, we're not playing it's that me. video. Alright, don't get me started also on all the covers. And uh, enough, well, enough. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, hello. When you say hello, you say hi. It's enough. Alright, guys. Can we just let that go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Talking about covers, you mentioned covers earlier, I just remembered. Yeah. Sean Tizzle mm -hmm. went on Twitter to rant about how somebody's cover was doing better than the original song. Sure. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. I'm telling you, man. But there's nothing but love here. Okay. Nothing but love. Well, we're just, sure saying, we're just saying that Tizzle, what you said was a bit kind of weird. Yeah. Tizzle, you said, it's what you said, it's not us that said it. It's you. Or it's you. You said it's that you. Uh, somebody sang uh, uh, the owner of the song better, better than, than the owner of the song. I don't understand. That's like somebody looking more switch than switch. I don't get it. God. <laughs> Shay, why are you... Anyways, in the spirit of blunders and saying the wrong things, Steve Harvey and Miss Universe, oh, no. which I think is the blunder in ever, the ever in the universe. The blunder of 2015. Mm. Ah, he messed up. Wow. Steve Harvey. Okay, that was, that was, that was. Mm -hmm. She had won the crown and everything. And then he came back to say that, oh, no, actually, you didn't win Miss Universe. But, you know, think about it. It could have been a publicity stunt because before this happened, mm. 
Nobody really watched Miss Universe. You have, a, you have a point there. So maybe. I'm thinking. But I, the part that cracked me up was when you see like Steve coming back. Like this is Steve. Like, the, like you're like Miss Columbia now. And then Steve is like this. And then he stops. <laughs> and then he does this again and stop. And then he's like, I was just like, oh, no, no, what's going on? Oh man. But what? Let me laugh. I was that babe. I may not have dropped that crown. Because mm. you cannot have. You have announced me. You have announced me. It's over. You give another crown. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. It's not nice like that. I trust you. I trust <laughs> you. Local entertainment news. Now, Skibi's dead hawks. Mm. This, is, now, this is a tricky one uh, because, of course, Linda Ikechi reported that he was dead. And later on, we found out that it was a scare, aka publicity stunt, and brother wasn't dead. It's like publicity stunts where it was, 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 was raining. It was kind of raining. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody's just trying to, you know. But imagine waking up to RIP messages. Go, what? I rejected it. Why are you even sending a message to the person that died? Or, Im- or imagine not getting any at all. Oh. There, there are worse things. <laughs> there are worse things in life. Anyways, anyways, from, from of course, the dead coming back to life to fields. Sound City versus P Square. Drama, drama, drama. All you need to know is that there was a gig to be played at and then there was a supposed price requested based on said relationship. And there was a refusal with the statement and I quote in the voice of P Square, what has Wait, Sound City... they have one voice, told them. Yes, they do. Okay. Because it's one. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this is what they said. Uh, this was their refusal. What has Sound City ever done for P Square? Mm-hmm. And then there was a <laughs> flinging of videotapes out the window mm. and then somebody so, so since the tapes are out of the mm-hmm. window no more playing of video yes. because tapes are out the window yes very sad <laughs> not also forgetting the twitter shades and of course the statement see you're all cut up <laughs> speaking of media platforms in 2015 something red and completely amazing came to town and if you're watching this you know exactly what i am talking about red tv y'all <laughs> <laughs> Powered by the United Bank for Africa, Red TV is guaranteed to turn up the heat with fresh Pan African content for every demographic. Well, <laughs> with fresh Pan African content for every demographic. Check out the launch. My name is Tony Elumel. All the bloggers in the house say Banana Island. Banana Island! Are you a Banana. blogger? Are you a blogger? Why are you always found zip? I want that kind much. of lifestyle. Hello. Ah. Let it, let it, let it. If you are faithful, mm. say it. I've said my own. Say your See, own. Linda KG purchased an amazing house in the very prestigious Banana Island in Ikoi. Not rent, oh. Mm. Not rent, oh. She bought the house. Eh, Linda? Are we real? We, we. She's famzing. If that was me now, she'd be saying something. No, but guys, but... let's just know that she's famzing. I'm just putting that out there that she's famzing. All right? Anyways, enough about that gist. But you know what? Nobody can knock Linda Ikeji's hustle. Period. In the words of Chi Girl, forget it. <laughs> forget it very well. Forget, forget, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Is that how she says forget it? Forget it. it. I beg. Linda. Like, why are you acting like, like you're not all Nigerian? See, why are you acting? Wait, wait. This is a personal shout out. <laughs> Linda, okay, let me see, this when next you are hosting, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, we're sisters in this business, you know now, you know, okay, oh. mm. my sister, this is the first episode, and you're already making us look bad by claiming sisterhood, come on, I don't have to claim, do I don't, you know what, I don't even have to claim sisterhood, like, she's my sister, mm. I know this, here are our top albums and singles for the year 2015,
before we sign out, mm -hmm. okay, I know we're newbies and our opinion doesn't matter much just yeah. yet. But our person of the year 2015 is Let me do please. With the invention of a new dance, which happens to be our favorite dance on the show. Then you hang. Okay, club banging singles, great collaborations, a new slang, and a seasoning album in this is a season album, two albums actually that he dropped last year. Mm -hmm. And we can officially say that she's had the best year in 2015. On lockdown, Sne. baby. Sne. So who was your person of the year? Can't wait to read all your comments, guys. Hit us up, of course, on our social media platform. <laughs> That's right, but guys, before you go, please don't forget to leave some feedback on this video and make sure you get your friends, your family, your cat, your dogs, everybody, your flowers, your plants, everybody, subscribe. And also tell us what else you like to see, more or less of. You never know, we might just do it. Be gentle, guys, because our names are still in pencil and, of course, it has not been permanent, so help a brother and, of course, a sister out, all right? <laughs> and it's a wrap. Please be back for the next episode as we'll be introducing you to our regular program programming and some really interesting people and segments trust me you don't want to miss it and we are out snap snap we are out snap we are out hi guys we're out we're out we're out